Here we are again with another Express video. Today we're going to talk about the different ways we can pick up a part in a wire EDM machine and how it's very different than, let's say, a milling machine. First, we use the wire to actually pick up the workpiece. As the wire approaches the workpiece, and when it contacts the workpiece, that position is recorded. This is actually done several times, and each one of those individual touches must repeat within the tolerance that's specified. If that tolerance is exceeded, you'll get an out-of-measurement tolerance error. And you'll either want to open up that tolerance, or you'll want to try cleaning up the part. So it goes without saying that any feature you want to measure must be within the travel of the machine. It should also be clean, burr-free, and conductive. And the feature must also go all the way through the part so the wire can actually touch the feature. So we can't measure any counter port holes or anything like that. I get asked all the time, hey Bill, can you use an indicator and sweep a hole like you do in a milling machine? And then the answer is just simply, we cannot do that. I have a part in the machine now. Why don't we go take a closer look and do some different measurement cycles on it. Here we are at the machine with the small part in the machine. I want to state that we've written a program for these measurements. And we're also doing all these pickups in fast mode. And I'm using fast cuts and threads. Both of these are new features on the Charmy 440 CCS machine. I'm doing this to reduce the time of the video. We're going to do an edge find on the front of this part. You see the, part, the machine moved in, touching the edge. We're going to record that position. The machine's going to move down an inch and a half. We're going to move in, find the edge of the part. We're going to record that position. We're going to have the machine calculate the angle between those two touches. By doing this, we don't have to indicate a part straight into the machine. Now we're going to do a center find on one of these holes. When a wire machine does a center find, it basically does a cross pattern. It moves right, left, up and down. The machine takes these four measurements and calculates the center of the hole. Here you'll see the machine start to move to the right and find the edge of the hole. Then it'll move to the left, and then it'll move up, and then it will move down. The machine will take these four measurements and calculate the center of the hole. We're also going to record that position. Now we'll go and measure another hole. In this hall, we're going to change the measurement angle to 45 degrees. Normally when measuring a hall, we would measure a hole several times at different angles and compare the measurements. We can use this angle to avoid a feature we don't want to measure, such as a keyway in a bore. So here the machine's doing the first touch, now it's doing the second touch. Going to do the third touch. And it's going to do the final touch. It's going to calculate the center. We're going to record the center. We're going to have the machine calculate the rotation between those two touches. I'd like to show you one more thing, and that is how we measure the OD on a round part. When picking up the OD of a part, we start the machine at the relative center of the part. We must also tell the machine the radial distance we want the machine to thread at. The machine will do three pickups 120 degrees apart. We edited this video to save time. On older machines where the cut and thread cycle may take up to two minutes, cutting, picking up the OD of the part could easily take seven or eight minutes. And more than likely, you want to pick up the part several times. Thus, it could take close to 30 minutes just to find and verify the center of the part when picking up the OD. Whenever possible, I would suggest picking up the part differently. Here the machine is doing the second pickup, 120 degrees from the first. Now the machine is doing the third and final pickup. Here you see 
that there's a slot in the B block where the machine is threading the wire. It can be challenging to pick up the OD of a part when the part is on rails. Sometimes it's hard to get between the part and the rails and have the correct threading distance. When the third and final pickup is complete, the machine will calculate the center of the part and move to the center. As always, thank you for watching our videos and please check out our other videos online.